yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. This week we got another autograph pickups. Uh, all of these pickups today are from RSA, also known as Rochester Sports Autographs. They are um, the largest JSA authenticated um, seller out there. Uh, they're uh, basically a wholesale site. That's where a lot of these dealers buy their stuff from. So this, I suggest, is where you need to go if you want to get stuff um, below I guess you'd say the market price um, or retail or whatever, but uh, you get the best prices at RSA. I've been buying from them for several years now. So, without further ado, let's get into this. First up, we got autographed baseball. This is signed by New York Yankees great Bobby Richardson. It's got a, his 1960 World Series MVP inscription on it, done in blue. It is JSA authenticated. A little bum that has a red mark right there. I won't try to remove it. I have a really small, skinny white eraser, so I might try to clean that up. It's got the JSA authentication card with it, which would match up with the JSA sticker serial number on it. So, very nice. And a little bum about the little red mark on it. Got that for a really good deal. All right. So, a majority of this might be cards. Yeah. All right, so I got two autograph cards in this pickup. We got the 1968 Tim McCarver. He's in the Hall of Fame. St. Louis Cardinals. Signed Blue Sharpie. This one's authenticated by... CAS. They also got the uh, Atlanta Braves Joe Torre 1968 tops. Also signed in blue. He also managed the Braves um, in the early 80s as well as many other teams. The Yankees and uh, Cardinals, the Dodgers. So happy to add that. Only one pickup on this one. All right, this is a, uh, I think it's a 77 tops. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read it. Of Keith Hernandez. I actually had this card from when I was a kid. And some of the cards that I had as a kid, if I'm able to um, find them in good shape, already autographed, I'll go ahead and buy them. Because, uh, I have met Keith Hernandez before, and he promised he would sign for us. Then we waited around for him, and when he came back, he lied to us and didn't sign for us. So I signed him blue Sharpie. The card is in very good shape. So happy to add that. Yeah, it is 1977 tops. I was right. Actually, three pickups on this. This one I got a hell of a steal in. It was an error on the website, so I was curious if they were going to send it, and they did. So I'll save that one for the last one I'll show you. So we got a uh, Ted Simmons. He's a very tough autograph to get. The guy does not like to sign autographs. I've had a few encounters with him. So 1972 Tops. He just recently got put in the Hall of Fame. Signed Blue Sharpie. All these cards are certified by CSA. Uh, 
Next up, got 1984 Tops Del Murphy. Sign in blue. I already have this card, but I'm also I have all of Del Murphy's cards from his rookie season to his last season all signed. All tops base cards, I guess I should say. And I'm putting together an 84 team set, so I wanted an extra one to go with the team set. So I wouldn't have to take the one I already had out of the team set. All right, this is the major steal that I got. I got a uh, Donruss Diamond Kings 1985 Tony Gwynn autograph. Sign in blue, certified by CAS for $9.99. They had three others on there, all listed for $99.99. And evidently, whoever plugged in the price of this uh, didn't hit enough nines. And I was just fortunate that I was online at the time I saw it and snatched it up. So it's my very first Tony Gwynn autograph. And I got it for a super steal. Couldn't believe I got that for 10 bucks. Several cards on this one. All right. Got a 1976 Keith Hernandez tops sign in blue. This is his first solo card of him by himself. They used to do rookie cards back then that would sometimes have two or maybe up to four. People sharing one card, but this is his first solo card. Him with the St. Louis Cardinals. And got 1986 um, Bobby Bonilla when he was with the White Sox. Most people remember, remember him for the Pirates and the Mets. He has that ridiculous contract that he still gets paid a million dollars every July for I don't remember how many years left. We got that sign in blue. I also got the 1987 Tops Bobby Bonilla sign in blue. I actually saw him play when he played with the Pirates when I was a kid. He did play with the Braves, but I got out of baseball for a while, so I never saw him when he played with the Braves. And then we got the 1983 Tim Raines. I believe this is my first Tim Raines autograph, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Also sign in blue. Then I got another Bobby Bonilla. Got the 1987 Fleer. Sign in blue. Alright. Last but not least. I picked up a 8x10 signed by Herschel Walker when he played with the Dallas Cowboys. He also played his college ball here in Georgia where I'm from, the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, won a Heisman Trophy. He's now running for Georgia Senate. So I wanted to get his autograph in case he does end up getting an office and the you know the value of the autograph could go up or he could be you know next to impossible to be able to get his autograph if uh, he does get an office so I wanted to get that it is JSA authenticated with the JSA card in the back so that's my first first Herschel Walker autograph to my collection so that's all my pickups I hope everybody enjoyed today's video please comment down below let me know which of the pickups that you like the most also let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this uh, I have about three more planned out as of right now uh, please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trans Unlimited merch in the description. Until next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace. In the trap on the block on my vest and my clock I'm that thug for my land, still ballin' like Pac If my seed be my name, they just trim my claim to fame Mafia
Yo soy Peter Clay, let's go to 